All right, so one of these came from Amazon and one came from Walmart. One of them has a ton of, like, Mario games that are, like, cloned knockoffs. Uh, the kids stepped on it and they broke the USB off of it. Some other stuff. This one came from Walmart and it doesn't really have crap. No licensed games. So I'm sure there's probably a way to flash this thing. I, I don't really know for sure if you do. Um, leave a comment down in the comments. So this is inside of one of them. We're going to pull the board. We can see the USB right there that the kid broke off. I might be able to solder that back on. So I was able to pull the screen out. So the biggest problem here is that they broke the uh, the USB off of here. Now, unless I can reattach that, uh, we're not going to be successful here with this thing. Uh, this looks like a um, Raspberry Pi Pico. Almost. Um, I'm guessing that's kind of what it is. Um, I would just rather flash one of these, you know, and try and do all this crap. So, I do believe I was successful at soldering this. I used the technique that I've seen other people do. And I just ran my iron across them. Okay. Let me take a look here and see. I ran my iron across them back and forth. Um, we can get in here. It looks good to me. I put a little extra solder on the corners. And hopefully this will work. So that was about 7x. So here's the broken screen. As long as the screens are the same. I'm going to test this out just to make sure. So I'm going to plug this in and then I'll um, get a battery on it. Okay, guys. So we have success. We just need to take the other one apart and swap the screen. There's no battery in here. It's running off USB. So this is what happened to the screen. Okay, so here's the other one. We're gonna open this one up. Okay, so this one looks completely different. And there's no markings on the chip because Walmart doesn't want to get sued. <laughs> so what's the number on here? We have H308 version 1.0. This is version 1.4. This is older, so Walmart's selling some old crap. Okay. So I'm just going to do this off camera, but I'm going to come in here and un undo that. I'm going to switch the display. The display even looks different, so we might have a problem. Alright. Success. So there was no info on the back of this one. Um, I threw out some of the stuff. We had like a TV control. But the Walmart one that they're selling is definitely older. The display is older. The chip is older. Um, the chip looks really strange. So... What would be nice is if we knew how to flash these, but anyway, that one's over there. We get this one here. This one says it's a specific model. These were like, oh, I don't know. They, I don't know how much they were at Walmart. Maybe $11. can't remember how this one works so you got Super Mario on this but you're not gonna have that on the other this is a 401 they call it but some of them are redundant so this target uh, <laughs> toggles over Uh, 
up and down. That resets it. I don't think you can adjust the contrast or anything. It's kind of hard for me to see him. When I was a kid, we used to play this. I think the battery is low. Yep. There goes the battery. Let me see. If I can pause it and plug this thing in, if it'll come back. This USB cord is real wonky. It's possible something just went wrong, too. Let's uh, have a look and see. Okay. <laughs> okay. He seems to jump a little funny. Short jump and long jump. That's interesting. They've done something really weird with the music, too. Look at that. So, I think it's just a battery issue. Ah, I hate the turtles. Happens every time. Anyway, I think it works. So, I'm trying to look and see if there are numbers on here where we can obtain a screen. Um, what does it say on the back of this thing? This is model PGC01. Yeah, it's a fake name. Anyway, this is what we got. If you know where to get the screen, let me know. See how the components are there on the back of the screen? On the other one, they're in between. <laughs> 